बोम बोम This is the Moto E4 Plus and let's do a camera review of this phone. Well, this phone is not mine, but my friends use. This is Akash Bhoshak and here is the review of my phone which I've almost used for 2 weeks. It's as actually not a review but camera review and here is my experience. But first let's talk about the phone a little bit. The Moto E4 Plus got released a month back as a MediaTek 6737 processor with 3GB of RAM. It comes with Android Nougat out of the box and it also has Dolby integration for a better audio quality. Now about the camera. This phone has a rear camera of 13 megapixels and a front camera of 5 megapixels with a front flash which is pretty powerful. Let me show you the UI of the camera. It is the back and now front. And let's take some pictures. The 13 megapixel back camera takes pretty good pictures. The colors are very accurate and pictures have nice details to it. The shutter speed is also good. The focusing speed is good. Here are some pictures taken by the Moto E4 Plus. Now some pictures taken by the front camera of the Moto E4 Plus. Just for comparison, here are two pictures taken by the Moto E4 Plus and the Moto Z Plus. Personally, I think that both the cameras are very much good, and the front-facing camera is much better, and it as it takes good pictures as a 5 megapixel camera. So I would give it a high ratings, and it has also a front flash, which gives much. crisp pictures at night mode now this phone does not have the manual controls as that of the Moto G series or the Moto Z series or neither does it have the slow motion video recording it just has the photo video and panorama mode here is the video clip of the back camera Here is the video clip of the front cam against light with light. I like this phone very much, and it has a metal body. Comes with latest Android and runs lag-free, and the camera is pretty good. And that's all. Thank you. The Moto E series had some major updates since it was launched. Now, four generations later, this device has all the things that I wished I would have when I had my Moto E first generation. And that's basically it for the camera review of the Moto E4 Plus. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.